Hello best friend and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. So why don't you go ahead and grab a snack and a drink, hit that subscribe button. I just want to say first of all, thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. Um, I definitely want to just give a big shout out. Hang on one second. You guys have been so incredibly sweet. So I've been getting some early birthday gifts, best friend. I'm so grateful. You have no idea. Like, uh, we'll we'll have a sit down one day, and I'll I'll tell you why it's it's a little hard for me um, and a little emotional. But um, thank you so much. So. These gifts are from Laura Ramsey, and she says, thank you for helping me through some of the hard times in my life. You are an angel. Laura, first of all, thank you so much, and I'm so thankful and grateful that I get to be there, and I get to just, you know, like you said, help you out. It's my it's my pleasure, it's my, it's my honor to be able to be with you guys in all of the moments in your life, and it just... It means the world to me. So thank you so much. And I'm so grateful and humbled by your guys' support. Laura, thank you. This is a, <laughs> uh, when I when I have it uh, built, I'll let you guys know, but this is a heavy duty pan organizer because we have some pans and my husband has that looking like a damn pan zoo. So no girl and some, oh girl, some beauty blenders. So thank you so much, Laura. I really do appreciate it. And I don't take it for granted at all. Thank you for the early birthday gifts. Laura, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, anyways, best friend. Um, yeah, thank you once again. So we gotta shift a little bit the, the, the mood because this is a very serious subject. Now, there's been a lot of talks about Justin Bieber and um, his alleged involvement with Diddy. Now, there is a couple videos going around and a lot of people you know, find it incredibly disturbing these videos of a then 15 year old Justin. Yeah. We just, so check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose, but, um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. Um, you know, I, I I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. I'm signed to Usher. I, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you want to do? What you want to do over the next 48 hours? 48 hours. Let's go. Um, are we gonna? Let's just go get some girls. Let's go and get some girls. Man, after my heart. That's what I'm talking about, kid. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? All right, doing? young brother. Everything's good. Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything. Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, no, you, no, ain't, no. you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But. You never really got my number, so. Right, okay. My number? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's 555. Five, five. Yes. Okay. 555. Five, five, five. Okay. 555. Five. You heard that? The thing is that now people are coming up with their own conclusions and they're saying very, very crazy things that, I mean, do happen, but it is involving somebody's. If if this was if this were true, a lot of these allegations, you know, forcing someone to speak out like people are wanting from Justin is dead wrong in my opinion. I don't think that you, first of all, you know, there has never been any confirmation of anything like this happening, right? And if something did like happen like this, you can't hurry somebody to speak out. You can't. You can't put a timeline for somebody to be able to 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 share everything that they've gone through, you know, in case they've gone through it allegedly, of course. So I just feel like it's 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 wrong. I think that you know, we're, we're, with this whole Diddy thing, 
I think that there's going to be a lot of things, this is just my opinion, but I think there's going to be a lot of things that are gonna be coming out. And I think that there's gonna be, if there is things that are be coming out, I do think that there's going to be a lot of people who are going to finally be able to share their story and to share you know, the things that they've gone through. Having said that, you can't hurry somebody to share something from their past that could have been, you know, if, if, if true, is a very, very scary, traumatic experience. Again, not saying that this happened, but I'm saying that a lot of people out there are coming to their own conclusions and, and, and speaking about situations that there is no confirmation that ever happened, right? Now, I'm not saying this to put anything past Diddy or anybody, because quite frankly, Hollywood is dirty as hell. I'm saying it mostly for Justin's sake. You can't, you can't assume or confirm things just because you think that that's how it happened. Do you know? And if, and if somebody were to talk or confirm or to speak out, that's Justin. And that's on his time. You cannot hurry somebody. So there's a lot of things happening. I just want to make sure that we, our community, that we are not spreading any, any, any information that's not accurate. There is no confirmation of anything that people are alleging. I'm sure you guys can put two and two together. Um, so I do believe that Justin looked uncomfortable in that, in that, in, in, in those videos. I do think that he just looked, it just was very awkward. You know, it was very bizarre. It just, I, I would never understand. And you know, it, I just will never understand an adult having a friendship with a, a, a child. I just, I don't get it. I, I mean, there is, of course, you know, um, but the thing is, I think the reason why we we just find it odd now is because we live in a very crazy fucking world that a lot of horrible people exist in and there have been done horrible things. So that is why I think people are just on the edge, right? Because, you know, back, I mean, it, you know, Back in the day, I guess, like my grandmother's, you know, age, you know, maybe it was normal, you know, the, the, the neighbor to go with the kid to play baseball. I don't know, bitch. But now, because of everything we now know, we're like, hell fucking no, you're not going to not even the damn corner. What, what business do you have to being with my child? Do you know what I mean? So there is definitely this, you know, and, and <laughs> trust me. Whenever I have children, oh, bitch, I am mama bear, I am papa bear, I am bear bear, bitch, okay? <laughs> I'm so sorry because I have seen firsthand at what could happen. You know what I mean? So we want to always make sure that our kids are safe, right? Um, so, so yeah, best friend, you know, I just think it's, it's just a little bit dangerous to assume stories and it's just a little bit dangerous to assume things that, that, that we don't have any, you know, uh, evidence that happened and again not saying it to you know to 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 not put anything past Diddy I'm saying it more for Justin so I feel like when you go through traumatic experiences in life and you go through things you it's hard you know it's really hard to to it's really hard to to go back to those situations right it's very hard to to have to relive situations. Some people, they bury it so far down, you know? Again, not saying it's about Diddy or Justin, but I'm saying in general, you know, people bury it so much and people, you know, kind of are on autopilot and, you know, just kind of let it, you know? So some people don't have the strength to bring it back up, right? And And I think that's, that's a very respected thing. You can't hurry somebody to to share their story. You gotta just, you know, tell them that you will support them and have them in their own time. And whenever they're ready, that's when, you know, that's when it can happen. But other than that, you can't hurry it. So um, that's my video, you guys. I just wanted to give Justin Bieber, you know, some grace throughout all of this because there is a lot of talk. There is a lot of stories going around and there's a lot of accusations happening. And I just feel like, you know, we have to take it step by step and we cannot just assume and we can't place an accusation on, on a 15 year old, you know, and, and have him, you know, if, if so, have him relieve things, relive things that 
you know, maybe didn't happen. So you know what I mean? So yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm sorry if this video is a little bit hard to understand. When I talk about this, I feel very, very passionate. I feel just very, very disgusted and just, you know, uneasy to be very honest. And maybe one day we'll talk a little bit more as to why, but you know, uh, uh, that's all I got to say about this. But I love you all so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you so, 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 so much um to laura for my beautiful gifts i don't take it for granted i don't take any of you guys for granted thank you for sending me early birthday gifts i'm so grateful and um, i'm always adding fun stuff to the amazon wish list so if you guys wanted to check it out you're more than welcome but just your support for me means the world so thank you and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye